Hey, I'm Marcus. And I'm Jack. And we're down in Lat Square in the city of Adelaide. What are we here for, Jack? We're here for the Pride Parade opening the Feast Festival. I can't wait. We're going to have a ball. But first of all, let's tell everyone we're, what we're standing on. We're actually standing on the Rainbow Walk, which just opened recently in Adelaide. Exciting times. Great. It actually goes through the history of the gay community um, and what's been occurring in South Australia. However, we've got so much to show them tonight, haven't we? Oh, what are we going to do after the parade? We're going to go see Danny Minogue. At the after party. At the after party. I can't wait. Come with us. We're going to have a ball. Marcus from Channel 44, what's your name? Sam. Sam, what are you looking forward to most of all tonight? Oh, look, I'm I just celebrating um, the fact that we're all proud to be ourselves and, and yeah, just um, having a great time and being a bit silly and, yeah, just, just being happy to be around like-minded people. What do you like about the Pride Parade? Well, I guess it's just the one afternoon that everyone can just be themselves and enjoy it and be proud of who they are, so... What are you looking forward to the most? Representing this Adelaide Leverman community, I guess. You know, we haven't been around as much as what we should have, but we're growing in numbers now, so it's good. Are you going to the after party? Definitely are. I can't wait it. What are you looking forward to? Uh, who, who doesn't want to see Danny? Danny? Yes, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Lee? Pam. Pam and Lee, what are you looking forward to most of all today? Just walking down the streets and, and, and feeling proud. Yeah. Is it the first time you've done it? No. The parade, I mean. My first, yes. No, no. My first. Thank you. Yep, my first, first as a couple, like, with a partner, yeah. We'll have a fabulous feast, ladies. And are you excited about coming to the Pride Party? So much excited, so excited. Um, just like meeting everyone and like seeing other queer people that are like part of this community and stuff. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. It's like because people that don't like have support at home or something can come here and feel like they're part of the community. Hello, what's your name? Pride. And tell me about your organisation. Well, I'm just uh, a supporter of uh, safe schools because uh, my grandson's uh, got an uncle who's gay and uh, he need, they need to be protected at school from bullies. So you're very supportive? Yes, of course. And my uh, uh, cousin's son's gay as well and she used to be uh, the Education Minister of Victoria. From Pie. My name's Mel. Mel, what are you looking forward to most of all out of the festival? Uh, the march tonight and the picnic in the park. Have you got any tickets to any shows? No, not as yet. It's a bit hard with a little one to uh, you know, get to many shows, but we do when we can, but it's few and far between. And is this the first feast festival your daughter's come to? No, it's her uh, second. <laughs> Thank you. What's your name? Bunny. Bunny. <laughs> and you're Sorry. currently eating right now. Yeah. Are you excited about the parade tonight? Extremely. I've been looking forward to this for months. Yeah, excellent. And what are you looking forward to the most? Just seeing the whole community come together in such a lovely, just sense of being. Like to not have to hide, to be able to come out of the closet and say, this is me, accept it or don't. Yeah, beautiful. And you're going to stay around for the whole weekend? Hopefully, yeah. yeah and what are you looking forward to the most? Um, probably just seeing, like, Everyone that I've just come into contact with and being like, oh, it's so nice to see you. Even the people that aren't in the um, gay community to come and say, I support you. Hey, Joe. Kane. And what does Feast Festival mean to you guys? Oh, I think it's a, it's about coming together for a, the gay community in Adelaide. I think and, a, and celebrating, I suppose, the diversity of a, the city of Adelaide and the, the, the gay community, I think. Yeah. Is it a yearly event for you? Um, yeah, we're around about most years, like the picnic in the park. Yeah, yeah. try and get out and see everything. Yeah. yeah, oh, good fun. Jack from Channel 44, what's your name? Pickles. Pickles, I love it. And are you looking forward to the parade tonight? Yep. You're going to have a good time? Yes. What are you most looking forward to? Um, holding the sign. <laughs> it's a good sign. Can we get a shot of the sign? It's, um... Yeah. What's it say? It's, it says, all we need is love. Um, it belongs to Queer Youth Drop-In, so I'm here from Queer Youth Drop-In. Um, you know, all dressed up in drag tonight. How are you gentlemen? What's your names? Philip. Hugh. And what are you lo looking forward to most of all with the Feast Festival? To celebrate 32 years together. Congratulations! Was Isn't it tough? 33 years. No, 32. 32. Oh, but we never oh, argue. But who's <laughs> counting? <laughs> Are you... the years of my life. Oh, good answer, good answer. And now, who's designed your outfits tonight? Well, 
We had a commitment ceremony at a feast festival some years ago up at Montefiore Hill and we wore these to that. Jess, Charlotte. <laughs> Are you looking forward to the party tonight? Yes. What are you looking forward to? Uh, the Just, after party. Yeah, the yeah. after party. <laughs> the after party. Yes. Looking forward to the after party. Just dancing, Start having up, fun. Comfort zones. Yeah. Be who we are. Yeah, Danny. Danny's all right. Yeah, yeah. Danny Minogue. What did she sing? <laughs> no. <laughs> so what does the Pride uh, Festival mean to you guys? Um, I think it's a celebration of being able to express who we are and who we love and yeah, just feeling comfortable and proud of that. What's your name? Michelle. Michelle, how many years have you been supporting the Feast Festival? We've, well, I've been supporting the Feast Festival for a very long time, um, but I've actually been a GLOW since 2007. So this is the first time I've marched, so I'm how, really looking forward to it. How important is it for you? It's extremely important. It's really important to get behind the community and show unity and show support. And I think from the turnout here, they were saying it's the most they've ever had. So we're really looking forward to it. I'm Stumpy. That's a great name. How are you doing tonight? I'm very good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. So what are you here for tonight? For Pride March. Yeah, what are you representing? Who are we representing? The Bear Men of Adelaide. Good. So what does Pride mean to you? Inclusion. Inclusion, Inclusion yeah. into the community. And it's amazing how many different people are here today, just from di many different walks of life. Yeah. And we all live in our own little suburbs and our little towns, but we all come together to celebrate. What's your name? Caitlin Rogers, or everyone knows me as Aunty Kay. And is this the first time marching in the parade? Oh, no, 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 many times. Many times? Are you really looking forward to tonight? I love it. And are you coming to the after party? Absolutely. Uh, what are you looking forward to most of all? Don't say Danny Minogue, because everyone has. Josh leading the parade like every year. Adrian. Fee. Fred. Michelle. And are you guys all excited for the break tonight? Extremely. 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 You all look amazing. That's the most important part. So what does pride mean to you guys? Mm, well, being proud about who you are and this is who we are. So. And celebrating who you are and being part of a big community who are accepting and want to party. Yeah. Are you guys coming to the after party? Yes, of course. We'll be dancing all night. <laughs> Danny? Uh, yeah, sure. So you're looking forward to the whole weekend? Yeah, it should be awesome. Uh, we, we like to try and hit a few plays and other such things. Support the queer artists while they're getting out there and doing their things and support art in general. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah I'm we're all excited. excited. So excited. <laughs> Woo! Woo! See, what does it say? Amnesty? Amnesty in International. All different, all equal. And what does that mean? It means equality for all, regardless of your sexual orientation or gender expression. And how many people are in your group? Um, worldwide, we have more than 7 million members, but in Adelaide, um, we have three of us today. <laughs> and is this the first time you've marched in the parade? Yes. Well, congratulations. I've well, we been involved um, priors as well, but just me personally, this is my first pride. This will be the first of many. Yes. What's your name? Uh, my name's Ricky. Nice to meet you. And what are Thank you looking for tonight? Uh, I'm here to march in the Pride March. Yeah, for sure. Looking forward to it. Absolutely. Every year I look forward to it. Yes. Yeah. Sure. Good, Good times. Tell me a bit about your organisation. Uh, so the organisation organisation itself is Uniting Communities. So it's a pretty massive organisation with over four, no, over 100 services. Uh, and the service we belong to is Befriend, which is which is one of them. Uh, and we work specifically with the LGBTIQ community. That's excellent. So, You're doing good yeah. work. Oh, thank you very much. So you're looking forward to the feast weekend? Oh, absolutely. How could you not look forward to feast? <laughs> Pride means uh, being myself, being uh, true, being genuine, uh, and being, uh, yeah, proud, basically, Beautiful. of well, who I am. We're being called away, so thank we you. We are. So we're off. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Roller skates? Is this your first time on roller skates? No, it's not. Do I look really bad? Like no, a... <laughs> no, no. I look awkward. No, so do you march every year? Yes, I do. Roll every year? Uh, I did last year. <laughs> so, um, who are you part of tonight? I'm part of the Adelaide Leather Men. Awesome. Sorry. Leather Men, Leather Women? No, no. I'm just their sidekicks. You're their, you're their mascot. 
I'm the mascot. Joanna Kenny. And this is not the first time you've marched in the parade, clearly? No, this is my third time round. Awesome. And so the Fireys have always supported the Feast Festival? This is actually the first year that we've been involved and we're really proud to be here today. It's but amazing. you'll be back for more, yeah? Definitely. Lock us awesome. in. So how many people are marching? I reckon we've got about 35 all up from the yeah. Fire Brigade, so it's a really good showing. Brilliant. So everyone's really excited about tonight? They look excited. They yes. do look excited, don't they? Really excited. Angelo. Angelo, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Thanks. And who are you here representing tonight? I am the ethnocultural officer at the student union at Adelaide Uni, and I'm with Socialist Alternative. Excellent. Yeah. What, you, what does pride mean to you? I'm proud to be out here with like you know everyone else that's you know passionate about equal rights and stuff, and saying putting pressure on the government to just pass marriage equality like right now. Like that's why I'm here today. Yeah. What does Feast Festival mean to you? To be equality, being myself, to be proud of who you are. Yeah. And did you paint yourself? Yes. Good work. Thank you. Um, what are you most proud of about Adelaide's Feast Festival? Everyone coming together and accepting us. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Celebrate love. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Happy Pride, everybody! Woo! Woo! And what do you boys like about the Pride Festival? Oh, always, always the fact that you get to see everybody that you've ever met. It's just fabulous. Everybody, black, white, gay, straight, everyone comes together to be happy and just celebrate Pride. Donna? Lee? What are you looking forward to most about the parade? Meeting some girls, seeing some girls, and meeting some girls. <laughs> and your response? Well, no, I'm not meeting any girls. I've got one, but... Um, seeing us all just get out in the street and own Adelaide, own Adelaide, yeah. Do you come and watch it every year? Sometimes I march. I watch every year, yeah. My name is Ben. Hello, Ben. How are you? I'm good, thank you for asking. Good. Me. I'm excellent. 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 I am, I am. Can't wait for Danny Minogue. We're all, we're all excited for Danny Minogue. What does pride mean to you? Um, love, peace and equality. Absolutely. Absolutely I am. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, Vivi. I love your outfit. Thank you. Um, what are you uh, looking after today? Like, what are, Who are you supporting? I'm here for my gay sister. Oh, brilliant. Where is she? Uh, oh, up, oh dear. <laughs> That way, I guess. Oh, brilliant. So, you're having a good night? Yeah, yourself? Not too bad, thank you. <laughs> Enjoy Feast Festival. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Lucy Flawless. Lucy, you look flawless. Thank you. By name, by nature. Um, how's your Feast Festival 2016 shaping up? Absolutely fabulous. Is there something you're really looking forward to more than anything about this festival? Danny Minogue. Good answer. Yeah. Um, is there anything you'd change about Feast Festival to make it even more amazing? I think we should all have rollerblades. Oh my God, my feet would be so appreciative. I'm Dr. Gertrude Glossop, and I do the history walks. You do? You've been doing this for quite a while, haven't 20 you? 20 seasons, darling, oh, wow. every feast. And you march every year, don't you? Every year I do, darling. What do you love most about it? I just love the public manifestation. It's so important, so important. Blazed is beautiful, darling. Oh, Blazed thank you, thank you. Yes. Oh, how uh, fabulous, actually. It's all coming together really well. Like, is there a terrific pride march this year? Yes, it seems to be the best turnout yet. Beautiful! And you're right at the front of the parade. Doesn't that mean a lot? Yeah, it does, actually. It's my sixth year in a row doing it. Excellent. And uh, my mum always comes along and supports. That's great. She's around here somewhere. <laughs> um, yeah, it's always an exciting opening to feast. So what does the pride parade mean to you? Uh, it's very important for South Australia. Um, we don't have a lot for the community here. 
Um, so something like this, for the streets to actually be closed off, is a huge deal. Um, it, it means so much to me, uh, and to young people as well. That's one of the main things I like about it, yeah. Kerry? Paula. And you're heading off the parade tonight, right? That's right, we are. Do you do this every year? Uh, this is about my fourth or fifth, so yeah. My first. Does it keep on getting better? Thank yeah, you. it's awesome. Have a great feast. And you. Jack, what do you think? It's been a great Pride Parade. Oh my god, what a ball. How many people are here? Millions. I think everyone in Adelaide has showed up today. The parade has just finished. Now we're about to march off to the after party, aren't we? Where? Who's performing? Danny Minogue. Uh-huh. Miss Danny Minogue. Miss Danny I've Minogue. You know what? The next two weeks are going to be an absolute blast in Adelaide. I suggest everyone gets down to Adelaide. Yep. Come and see some of these amazing shows we've got on. Um, hey, let's have some fun. Party down. Yay! Let's go. Woo! <laughs> And a gay, how are you all? Hello. Oh, amazing. Cold. We're good. Yeah. So, what are your names? Deanna, Celeste, Aaron. And you've just come off stage. How was it? Wonderful, exhilarating. Is this your <laughs> first time with the Feast Festival? No, we've been here two years ago. So, yeah. 2014, we were here and we didn't do it last year, but we're back this year and we're excited to be here. Yeah. And what keeps you coming back for more? Uh, just the energy and the vibe of Feast is always great, and the, uh, the acts are so much fun, and yeah, it's a great community event in Adelaide. And what do you think is so special about Feast Festival? Um, does it get better and better every year? Absolutely. I've never seen this crowd before. When we came in 2014, it was wonderful, but this is on another level, and I just think it's going to keep getting better and better every year. What's your name? My name's Flavella Lamar. Darling, just something a little bit simple tonight? Yeah, well, I thought, you know, um, we're all peacocks here, so, um, yeah, bring it on. <laughs> what are you saying about my look? Um, I think you look really smart, and oh. you look and really also to uh, 70s. Oh, well, thank you, thank you. Not 70s porn. No, but 70s fashion. 70s classic. Yeah. Yes. Um, so how many peacocks were harmed in the process of this outfit? Well, um, none of them, because they um, used to live at our house and drop their feathers. Wow, so they were your pets, or yes. they still are your pets? They lived at our 
house, yeah. My name's Monkey Music. I'm part of Swing Dog Circus. And so clearly by your outfit, you're the ringmaster, I yes? totally the ringmaster of Swing Dog Circus. Fabulous. Is this the first time performing at Feast Festival? It is, yeah. Yeah, as this uh, project. Yeah, I've been involved with Feast for a long time. This is a new project that we're bringing around called Swing Dog Circus. What does Feast Festival mean to you personally? Diversity. Completely diversity. Number one. Yeah. Just and are you an Adelaide boy? I am. I'm here with Layla. How are you? I'm good. How are you, Marcus? I'm good, thank you. Tell me about the Feast Festival. What does it mean to you? Feast Festival, is um, for me, it's a celebration about um, diversity, um, culture, and, yeah, just the LGBT community. Is it the first time you've been a part of it, producing a show? No, I had a show uh, last year, and um, that was with a big group of people. Um, very different show, but, no, definitely not my first time. Adam, how are you tonight? Excellent. Uh, so what do you think of the energy here at Feast Festival? Yeah, it's pretty relaxed. I'm enjoying myself. Have you enjoyed the acts we've seen tonight so far? Uh, very much so, yes. Word on the street is Danny Minogue is going to be up there any seconds. What do you think of that? That's why I'm here. That's oh, really? Me. Yep. A major fan? Yep. Okay, so tell me, what does Feast Festival actually mean to you? Uh, acceptance and... Um, just freedom to be yourself, self-expression. A litre milk. You look absolutely fabulous. Thank you. Okay, what inspired your look tonight? Uh, I can't take the credit for it. My friend did the makeup for me, so she just did the look. I have her wig, her makeup, her everything, so I wish I could take credit for it, but I'm not that talented. What are you looking forward to most of all about Feast Festival 2016? Just the whole thing in general, the just the vibe of being able to get out and see things and just be around other gay people is just always an amazing thing so it's just yeah just being out with everyone is yeah how important is it that adelaide has to have feast festival i think it's super important i think it's something that a lot of the time as a gay person you don't necessarily feel comfortable being around walking out being visibly gay um, and during feast being able to walk through the streets having people look at you and appreciate what you're doing i think is such an important thing for everyone to feel do you think we need to improve anything more during the following years, you know, with acceptance and, you know, where we are in our society? I mean, obviously, there's a lot of things that, as a country, we could improve. Um, a lot of things that people shouldn't be discussing, just should just be changing. Um, it's at that point that it's just ridiculous that we don't have marriage equality and things like that. Um, but I think events like this just help people to see that we are just people and give us a chance to get the community involved in things that they wouldn't normally be. OK, Marcus from Channel 44, guys, and I'm with... I'm Monty. You're Monty, you I'm are. Monty. And we are down at the Ed Castle in Adelaide. Um, welcome, everybody. Vonnie, happy Feast 2016. Happy Feast. It's been amazing, absolutely sensational. What does the Feast Festival mean to you? Um, I think it's people just coming out and enjoying themselves, and there's something, absolutely something for everybody. Um, and it's just celebrating our, di our diversity, and I think it's a much-needed festival here in Adelaide. And have you been involved with the Feast Festival over the course of the recent years? Um, yes, um, I've been had shows every single year during Feast. Um, last year was actually a highlight of my life. I'm a massive, massive fan of Eurovision. And last year I was lucky enough to do a show with Conchita Verst, who won Eurovision in 2014. Um, and I hosted a show with her um, as part of Feast Festival and it was just amazing. I loved it. Um, so the Feast Festival, do you find that it brings much awareness uh, to, to the mainstream society? Does it, is it helping address some of our issues, etc.? I think it is a little bit. Um, there's still a lot of issues that are around, um, but Feast Festival certainly helps, and I think it certainly helps bring people together. Um, and it's just a celebration, and we all need celebration. We all need celebrations in our life, and Feast Festival absolutely does that. So, what are the uh, what are some of the changes that you've seen over the course of your lifetime um, in Adelaide or uh, in Sydney, even when you were doing Lay Girls? Um, I think that. Uh, um, um, 
social medias and things on and websites and dating sites have absolutely ruined venues um, and I think that um, it, these days people don't need to go out to, to meet someone or hook up they can just do it all online and whereas before you used to have to go out and you'd meet someone you'd give them your number which was your home phone number and then you'd hope that you might get a call and if you got a call you would hook up maybe the next week and go to a venue and that doesn't happen anymore it's all just done online and you unfortunately that's I think that's sport and people don't know how to talk to each other anymore it's all done by texting people don't know how to hold a conversation anymore